Hey everyone, today we are at MICE, which is the Melbourne International Coffee Expo 2022, and I thought it was a great opportunity to start talking about coffee machines. Now, when you would upgrade, and if you've got an old two-group machine, and someone's talking about giving you a free on loan machine, and you know, you're looking at a you know, beautiful, shiny new piece of equipment on your bench, and why you would do it, what are the advantages, um, and is it really something that would help you grow your business? Well, I think it is, because when you start to consider that if you're not doing it, and the guy a couple of doors down has that beautiful machine, and his queue is going out the door, and his business is growing, I want to share with you perhaps why that is actually happening. And today is a perfect example, because we're at the Lumazoco stand, and we have all of the equipment here. So, to help me run through some of the benefits of investing in something like this for your cafe, is Eric. Eric. Hey Luke, how are you? Mate, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. Can thanks you just for coming first, in. Yeah, that's right. Firstly, tell everyone what is your role at Lamazoco? Yeah, great. So, uh, my name's Eric. I'm uh, in the sales team with Lamazoco. Uh, yeah, my focus is uh, regional and small roasters. I also take care of uh, all of the Modbar sales for Australia. So, yeah, big part of our brand and a little sub brand which I'm very passionate about. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. It's lovely to be here. It's been a long time coming. Three years uh, without mice, and it's awesome to have everyone back together again. Yeah, cool. it's great. Look, we're pretty blessed to be able to have the experience of having a really nice new machine a couple of times a year. We get to play with this gear, which is great. Yeah. But that feeling uh, is really hard when you're in a cafe because you have a machine for quite a few years, and it, it may deteriorate. It might not look the best you know, over time. But we know uh, from dealing with uh, our, our customers, Lama Zocco is the staple we have for a lot of time, and they've definitely built the industry here in Australia. So, yeah, well done as a brand. We really love that. Well, we're very fortunate to be quite trusted by the uh, by the industry, uh, and you know that's built on the back of support. Like we want to make sure that uh, not only are our machines supported in the field, wherever they are throughout Australia, we want to make sure that our customers that we have get listened to. Um, so a really strong part of our business is the ethos of feedback. Um, we want to ensure that we're constantly improving our product uh, and constantly growing the market uh, so that everyone can drink uh, just as good as coffee as everyone else. So it's, um, it's a great, great brand and a great product. And thanks for uh, you know, being such a great, great ambassadors of, of the brand itself. Mate, I love it. I've still got my uh, 2006 model 2 group. Yes. It's finally, it's been through many cafes, been rebuilt, repainted, and always looks schmick every time. Awesome. But it's now in my training room. Wow. Right? Yeah. So, you know, that many years, it's been a, a an investment which has been fantastic yeah. and has lasted the test of time. So, and still, it's almost, still current. It's almost time to upgrade then, perhaps. Well, you know? perhaps, yeah. <laughs> so, look, something's happening. That's a, it was a linear, uh, linear classic two yes. groups we had, and something definitely has happened uh, right now from Lamazoco. So, it's standing behind us. Let's go and have a look at the new classic S. Beautiful. There we go. So mate, tell us a bit about uh, this machine, you know? So yeah, so the Linear Classic has been a, you know, kind of a staple of, of our industry. Uh, it's really grown not only the Australian uh, coffee community, but uh, it's also grown the global specialty coffee community. Um, it really started the third wave of espresso uh, way back in the day. First designed in 1988. This year, we've finally been able to reinvigorate uh, the model, still keeping the classic design, and the classic ethos of reliability, but upgrading all the specifications. You've got shot clocks, you've got an auto purge function, the new buttons, uh, the new steam ones. Um, yeah, What's that do now, mate? Yeah, it's, I know. No, no longer do we have to uh, unwind a, uh, the, the whole shed. So, so quarter turn steam taps is, is yeah. fantastic. That's definitely a feature that people want in cafes, for sure. You know, and that's something that, like, you, we talk about upgrading our equipment uh, in a cafe environment, but Lama Zocco is also upgrading our equipment over the years. We're constantly listening to the feedback we've got with, uh, with our customers, and this is built on feedback from our technical support all over the world and our roasters and our cafe customers all yep. over the world. So, so if we're a customer, or you're for a cafe and you've got a, a single boiler coffee machine, you're doing you know, 10, 15 kilos a week, and yep. you really want to grow your business, and you think, oh, well, I'm going to invest into something like this, what are you actually going to get from a single boiler to going to a multi-boiler Lama Zocco? I'm like, well, what's yep. it going to do to uh, workflows and the actual mm. quality of coffee? What, what's it going to happen? Well, one, you've got a, you know, 
a heightened level of consistency both in temperature and pressure. Uh, you're going to be able, your, your programming functionality of this machine is going to be heightened like by a magnitude. Uh, you've got shot clocks, you've got a workflow environment that's really uh, approachable. Uh, so you've got that real base to enter into an entry level specialty coffee shop with no limitations. Uh, so yeah. dual boiler, one that's going to be doing steam yep. and hot water tap? Absolutely. And then another brew boiler just focusing on the heads? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. We've also improved uh, our temperature stability inside with uh, dual PID uh, controls. Uh, we've got uh, level probes now inside all the boilers. Uh, it's a, all of them, are, like all of our models have got saturated group heads, so you've got that heightened level of thermal stability that people know, trust, and respect in the plumber's Oco. So, sure. yeah, it's amazing. Bit of ergonomics there and the way the handles are designed. Absolutely, so the handles are all, um, apart from the KB90, uh, we've got a universal handle for all of our products. So, a big part of uh, the Lama Zocco range now that everything is up to spec is that it's easily transferable logic for programming and for baristas to jump from one machine to another. It's it's you know kind of easy to understand. So it's, the, the feel of it is also like uh, relatable as well. It's interesting yeah. to say that because we were on the stand uh, yesterday, oh, tu uh, Tuesday afternoon serving That's coffee. Right. I'd never touched a mod bar before. Yeah. And um, Luca was there. And he goes, you know what you're doing? And I go, yeah, I do. And yeah. I jumped in there and we managed to program that machine because it, it was logic across which was, that was oh, great. That's I, was, awesome. I was excited about that. That's great. Um, yeah. Just one thing about the, uh, having a separate boiler for your front brew, yes. we all use different coffee. And different, when you look into the science, we should have different temperatures. So that's the one thing you're gonna get from a dual boiler. Mm. You can actually dial, uh, not only the volume, but the temperature of that water into the coffee that you're using. Because you may have a light roast or a dark roast, medium, whatever it is, and they all have different temperatures. Yeah. So I think that's a significant taste advantage you're gonna get from going to a, a Lamazocco. Absolutely, and you know what, our, our number one focus is we're never going to tell people how to make coffee we're always going to try to make uh, machines that don't break down um, and machines that are as consistent and stable as possible so that businesses can really grow succeed so yep. you know there's bigger boilers more stable boilers more stable temperature stability it's it's all a package with us that we love uh, being able to showcase shows like this yep. yeah the other thing just from a servicing, servicing perspective we know we can shut off this steam tap in service we can work on it yep. um, there's uh, is there manual buttons on this one if the brain does die or is that no, I just noticed that's missing that's one of the big uh, things that I've missed out on <laughs> but you know the beautiful thing about the old linear classic is it's not going anywhere so yes. um, those machines are going to be around for years and years they're like an old car um, so yeah the, the linear classic original model uh, I can imagine is going to be in the cafe scene for another 30 40 years so it's, uh, it's a very exciting piece of equipment and if you still want that manual override switch like I do I'm definitely gonna go grab one <laughs> <laughs> so look there's an attractive piece there that yeah. does draw people in uh, yeah. a Lama Zocco you see one on a bench you should start be thinking it, it's quality the barista is gonna have some sort of professional uh, attitude towards coffee because they're working on a, a really refined and expensive piece of equipment but you're going to get a great cup of coffee so there are a lot of um, different looks and feels you can customize any of these machines yep. you know white Absolutely. paints change them up different badges whatever you want to do so you'll notice our show we've all just gone for a straight stainless uh, mirrored stainless look um, and you know that's there's, there's a purpose behind that we wanted to keep that you know original facade of and purest approach to our equipment because we know how easily it is to customize and around the show you'll find a lot of our customized machines which is a tribute to their kind of like personalities yeah. um, you know that's something that's so cool about our product it's so adaptable to yeah. so many different cafes businesses roasters you know it's just it feels like you can personalize everything which awesome. is awesome so the classic s is the entry model now yes and we go okay now that's that's where we've got to start to be classified as specialty coffee and Sweet. get a benefit to the business and there's a lot of other things now that Lamazoco has technology wise as we go up in ranges uh, this Absolutely. is a pb behind us is it yep this is the pb so this is um considered technically now the PBS, so it's PBS. our newest model of PB, um, and it uh, contains an IoT uh, gateway board. So 
This is an upgraded model. It's got the upgraded, uh, you know, PB Logic uh, firmware uh, interface programming. So you can see, obviously, it's definitely more a luxurious button interface. Um, the way you program it is slightly different uh, to the Linear Classic um, in that it's got a lot more variables which you can control straight away from the uh, from the screen there. Yep. But the beautiful thing about it is you've got now an IoT gateway where you can log into your machine and and just make anything you want happen at the touch of a touch of your finger. Yeah. So definitely, this is a game changer. For us, this is the machine we've been running out uh, across all of our cafe partners Absolutely. because we used to have to, you know, hold the button and hit stop when we were running the flow through. But you, uh, the company brought in pulses, which gave us a number to actually adjust, increase or decrease the amount of water coming through. Absolutely. So it was a very specific, great measuring tool, um, and that's basically from here up in yep. all ranges and I'm pretty sure that goes backwards a little bit into that technology as well. So yeah, absolutely. It sort of brought the classic up yes. but uh, enhanced this moving forward. Absolutely. So it's something that we're always, always looking at is how can we, you know, allow, like give beneficiary to some of our equipment range and continue to upgrade it so that it's adaptable to the current industry uh, kind of standard market. So yeah. it's exciting. It's um, always something to, to watch out for, is new and uh, new upgrades. All right, we're going to have a look over here because yep, absolutely. Lama Zocco means quality. Absolutely. But as you start to see the design and some changes, these people are investing some amazing money and, and they're really focusing on making a much better coffee when you see these different types of machines. Absolutely. So we'll come around this side here and have a look. This one looks beautiful. This is the KB90. We did do a review video on that one, so you can have a look at that uh, as well. Absolutely. But apart from design and elegance, around this side we have an amazing feature called the straight in quarter filter. Yes. What a yes. game changer. I mean, yeah. for years we've been, you know, pushing our arms left and right, getting a bit of RSI. Yes. But we this can. Is, um this feeling of, uh, you know, uh, responsiveness with this straight in water filter. And even like we debuted this product three years ago um, at Mice itself. Uh, and even still now, people are still getting a real feel for it because it, it is changing the game for a lot of businesses. It's, um, it's pretty special. Yeah. yeah. So just a quick, quick summary, what actually happens, instead of having to pull the, the uh, grip handle to the side and compress um, and create a vacuum, basically, for the water to come through, the whole actual piston comes down onto the head and seals. Yep. So that's why we can go straight in. Uh, and it's, it's also then got automatic flushing afterwards. Yep. Um, You'll notice this model also has the ABR scales, which we've touched on, you guys touched on in a previous video, which yep. is, um, you know, a phenomenal, if you're looking to upgrade, uh, you know, your machines in a cafe and you go, how can we make things more consistent, more reliable? We're taking the guesswork completely out of volumetric programming yep. and we're adjusting it to be uh, so accurate um, that, you know, we've got such an incredible workflow now. Yeah. Sure. So we always talk about brew recipes. We're always getting yes. people to weigh the grind and weigh the shot after. So this is what's going to happen here. It does it for you and it will basically yeah. make sure that you get the right amount of liquid in the cup as it's measuring after tearing your, your cup on the scale. So yeah. you dial in, you get the right grind, you're always going to get the great end result. Absolutely. Uh, just a nifty little thing. These are cool because they're yeah. all weight balanced. Um, you know, if you are using scales and, and doing some other things, you used to have to always tear off every individual handle, but yeah. now with, um, I don't know the exact name of these, but they're all matched yeah. by weight in a whole set you buy for your machine. Yeah, precision handles. So you've got the... Uh, there you go, precision handles. So we've got them all weighted and all uh, exactly the same um, to the specifications. It's interesting, the handles are so well weighted, it feels like uh, everyone's got such a special uh, connection with the handles itself. They're actually designed by an old sword Smith uh, fabricator way back in the day. So it was an original like uh, mold that was uh, cast maybe 30 or so years ago, and we've kept the same handle, weight, uh, and mold for over the years. So this is the first one which we've actually redesigned in a, in a while. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's still got that same weight and feel and love for the products. Yeah. Awesome. It's All awesome. Right. And another machine which got a bit of a, a rebirth yes. in its life is the uh, the GB5. Yeah, absolutely. So the GB5 is again another upgrade of our equipment range where the original GB5 was released in 2005 um, and it made such a huge leap in the specialty coffee industry uh, that what, what we actually um, what we did with the GB5 was we introduced temperature stability we introduced uh, new technologies inside the machine which allowed for baristas to create a really consistent product 
And now we wanted to keep the same ethos of the GB5, but bring it up again to modern specifications. Yeah, so, definitely. So keeping the multi-button still, same similar feel, which is absolutely. great. Absolutely. But the internals is the brain of all of the other machines. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, and we've upgraded certain things like this. The Steam ones are phenomenal now. The, um, the we've got obviously the the new PB interface. So if you hold this button down here, all the logic of our machines become very easy to understand. So you hold down the function button, and then this now becomes very similar to the PB, to the KB90, uh, to the Modbar, to the Strata, all very easy to uh, understand and uh, adapt to your businesses. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And now we're starting getting though into multi-boiler technology. Absolutely. Which, yeah. which uh, look, correct right. me if I'm wrong, but it allows you to have each individual head then temperature controlled and dialed into multiple coffees. Yes. So if you are running a main blend, a single and a decaf, each of these can have individual temperatures, yeah. which then makes sure that you're getting that perfect taste uh, that the roaster is, is asking to make you achieve out of their roast. Absolutely. It also creates a heightened level of thermal stability again. Our number one thing is consistency, you know, and no downtime for cafes. We want to make sure that we're, uh, our machines are able to adapt to a really busy workflow uh, and constantly keep up with heightened levels of demand. So those multi-boilers are able to facilitate that uh, at a really high degree. So we've got the multi-boiler in the GB5, uh, X and the KB90 standard. Uh, we can also get the PB with a PBX model with the multi-boiler unit. So, yeah, again, a really big, really big part of our business. Awesome. Yeah. And from here, we sort of go up to what's on the other side. Now, I yeah. don't know if we're going to be able to get in there because people will be on it. But um, I'm sure, I'm sure, we'll hopefully find a way. Yes. Look, we might get a get a quick little pan through there, and then Absolutely. we can just. Uh, Alright, so we've got the mod bar. So we did use this the other day and it's a very distinct change in your business. If you want to create a better interactive piece, which you can see what's happening right now, the customers can engage with the barista. Absolutely. You yeah. know, there's, the people can see what's happening. You can Absolutely. see your espresso shop being made right in front of your eyes. Um, you can see the steamer, the, you can see the barista pouring out. So it's really becoming a great theatre piece now yes. where you can engage with your customers on so many different levels. There's such a little, uh, there's always been a, some of a barrier with espresso machines um, from barista to, to customer and this really breaks down that wall um, but it still is able to provide that same consistency uh, that our entire espresso machine range uh, can provide so and the ability to change things up so you can see we've got four heads in a row then two steamers so we are always using have a setup works left to right so you can really have the the, the the parts of the machine where you need them because of your layout yep in essence it's a modulated system that you can design to whatever specifications you, you're after. So it's, um, again, an amazing piece of technology that a lot of people are really looking to, to upgrade their businesses into, which is awesome. And I don't know what they call it, but I used to see that as a pour over mod yeah. bar system. I, I don't know anything else other than that as a name. Yeah, not not, not too many people uh, uh, are using it in Australia. It's very popular in the US and, uh, and through Asia. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a unit that uh, you can pre-program up to 20 different uh, pour-over recipes in. Uh, you can change the nozzle to a more of a spray option. A again, it's just a, like almost a permanent solution to uh, seeing what you know is undertaken in a barista's filter coffee bar, you know, day in day out. So, yeah, there's some amazing businesses in the U.S. that have just got six of them. Um, again, it's. Uh, all new varieties of equipment that we're able to provide to all these different types of businesses. Awesome. And a yep. shout out to Rumble Roasters today. They're doing great on the They're mod doing bar. fantastic. Keeping yeah. everyone happy. Absolutely. All right, now, new product. Yes. All right, away from coffee machines, what's, what's the other new little... Uh, oh. oh, man. I guess, well, I reckon it's a little yeah. picture. Yeah, we forgot honest. to mention the uh, Wally. So, uh, yes. <laughs> So there is something really special on the horizon uh, it, at the show. We've got them, we've got them attached to all of our equipment range. So when we're talking about upgrading uh, cafes, um, restaurants, um, people with like a maybe a small barista team, we're always looking for that heightened level of uh, of help or assistance when you're when you're talking about uh, a really heavy uh, milk focused uh, coffee program so yeah the Wally milk is is pretty amazing we've got up to 20 programmer recipes um, a heightened level of temperature uh, you can choose any stretch value um, the beautiful thing about it is it just connects to the steam boiler in the machine so you can still use all the steam ones at the same time it exhausts out the back so there's no uh, like waste, no mess, um, and really, quite simply, 
is measuring the temperature of your milk that you can specify. Um, and it's gonna auto steam the milk for you. That's really cool. It's really cool. You know, we think of it as a barista simply just holding that jug and having to get the tilt and the angle. Yeah. We've got to teach new baristas how to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. But the Wally's got it down pat, so. This really provides a level of multitasking that, yeah, you know, it hasn't really been seen before. So you can use this, you can walk away from your unit, uh, and you can maybe grind some extra shots, you can go to your till, you can get a muffin out of the, uh, the pantry. You uh, can engage with your customers. You can Hello. engage with the customers, there exactly right. <laughs> and so what we're really finding here is a beautifully textured milk that you can split, you can go, you can do all your large takeaways, you can do your finer detailed alternative milks with it. Uh, yeah, it's just a really great addition to a coffee bar, which is always expanding. Awesome, there you go. Why would you upgrade? Well, as you keep going, you're basically getting more automation. You're probably saving some uh, some money around staffing as well with something like the Wally. Absolutely. But ultimately, you're making a better coffee for your customer. Absolutely. With a marketing piece which is going to draw people in. Absolutely. So if, you, if you're afraid of upgrading or, or looking at a new opportunity where someone is going to give you um, a new machine with a coffee contract or whatever it may be, there's going to be a huge benefit on the other side when you actually do upgrade. Absolutely. You know, and it's it, we're always... We're always here to support that, you know, and support those questions. So thank you, Artisti, for, for coming here and being so, you know, so so cool with, with this kind of educational piece. It's awesome. It's awesome to see. Mate, thanks so. very much for making great machines. Um, it. It's been the backbone of our business, and we yeah. really appreciate it. Great. Love using it. And awesome. look forward to, yeah, the new stuff. Keep going, because every time going. something new comes out, we're just excited awesome. to, to see how it can help the industry. So Awesome. Great. Thanks Pleasure to have you here. Thanks, time, Luke. Mate. Really Lovely. appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers, everyone. I hope that helped you to uh, get an understanding as to why you would look to upgrade from a single boiler to a multi-boiler unit, um, you know, the costs, but the benefits that are so outweighing any sort of investment. Um, so I would encourage you to consider to keep pushing into better quality coffee, better equipment, uh, and systemizing how you make coffee, and the outcome is gonna be a reward of a happier customer, a happier employee, and more profits in your pocket, because that queue out the door is only gonna get bigger as your business grows. Thanks very much for watching guys. Got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Happy to answer those ones. Uh, might even matter, you know, shoot them back to Eric if it gets a bit too technical, so I can't answer it. And uh, yeah, look forward to catching you next time. Thanks very much, much for watching uh, live here today in the Mice Expo. Cheers, catch you next time.